In this lesson, we'll learn how the anatomy and pose of our character have a direct impact on how that character is perceived. All right, so in the previous lesson, we wrapped up going over the character bio for the character we're working on here. Now, before we get into the anatomy of our character and poses, I want to go ahead and proceed that with just letting you know that this particular lesson, I don't want this to be necessarily a lesson on how to draw the female anatomy. We have a lot of really great content inside our library under the design and art section that can teach you how to draw the female anatomy and the male anatomy for that matter. If you feel like you're not really up to the drawing uh, really realistic females. Now, drawing realistic females is one thing tra traditionally male artists struggle with. It's one of the more difficult things for us to draw. So I think that, uh, as with anything, more practice in this area, you get better at it. So in saying that, let me go ahead and show you some of the reference material that I've used for this particular project. Now, I think reference material is important to any project like this one. Uh, now, whether you find that uh, reference material from film, from video games, from comics, magazines, or even other artists, uh, acquiring this reference material is going to be really key to your success. So um, I've gathered several pieces of reference material here for me to look at as I'm drawing this particular character. Now things that I'm going to look at in my reference material are not only the wardrobe and the pose and the anatomy of the model that I'm looking at, but also the attitude and the personality of that model that's reflected in the image that, that I've captured. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at some really quick anatomy studies here that I've done for our female character. So uh, you can see here just in this first round of sketches here, we've got a variety of different poses and even some slight uh, anatomy anatomical variations in our female character. You can see that some of them are a little bit more slender uh, around in the shoulder area. Some of them are a little bit beefier in the shoulder area. Uh, you'll also notice here that I've got sort of these columns of sketches here separating our uh, female models, and that goes back to uh, just the basics of drawing the ideal female. Knowing that the ideal female is eight heads tall, and I've got those in there, so as I'm sketching these, I can measure off key areas with these particular heads. So you can see here that uh, at the four heads mark, we have sort of the pelvis area, the lower part of the pelvis, and uh, you know, so on and so forth. So. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and flip through and take a look at some of these other sketches here. Now again, these are done really, really quickly, and I know that I'm going to be painting over these, and this line work is going to disappear. So uh, these are really just to be used as reference moving forward. And, uh, you know, in looking at this next round of anatomical studies, we're looking at even pushing the envelope further in terms of the muscle mass of this character. And you can see here that some of these sketches are very, very muscular. Now. Keeping in mind that our character is 5'10 and 125 pounds is really important at this point because um, in looking at maybe these two sketches here, they might be a little bit heavier than 125 pounds if they were 5'10. So um, keeping that in mind, just kind of flipping through here, taking a look at another round of sketches here. Um, now. Obviously, when thinking about the anatomy and the pose of our character, uh, we don't want to draw a character that is short and stocky. That doesn't fit our character profile. We know that our character is 5'10 and 125 pounds, and, but beyond that, she's also fit, physically fit, as well as voluptuous. So we're trying to achieve a level of sex appeal in both the anatomy and the pose of our character. And that's really important in moving forward. If we're creating one piece of artwork like we are in this course, and we want to really portray the essence of our character in that piece of artwork, then we need to capture that sexuality in the anatomy and the pose at this point right now. So with that said, let's go ahead and shift back over here, take a look at this first layer here with these initial sketches, and let's take a look at a couple things that are going to make our character, uh, the anatomy and the pose of the character, uh, a little, have a, that sex appeal that we're looking for. So uh, let's go ahead and focus here on this first character in the center, and let's just take a look at some key areas here. Now, the first thing uh, I want to let you know is, if you don't know this already, is that the female center of gravity is right here around their pelvis. That's really the, the area that if that shifts, if the weight there shifts, the other areas of her body are going to follow. As opposed to the male, the center of gravity for a male is going to be uh, uh, more up in his chest. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and grab a brush tool here. I'm just going to kind of point out some key areas here. Notice here if we were to just draw a horizontal line through through the model's ears, through her torso here, 
right around her breasts. Uh, let's draw one through her hips right here, and maybe one through her knees. You can see that each one of these lines is parallel. They're not ever going to cross if we were to complete those lines out here. So uh, knowing that, that actually makes this more of a masculine pose. There's not a lot of feminine qualities to this pose here in the center. Let me go ahead and undo that a few times here. I'm going to go ahead and shift our attention over here to the pose here on the left. Now let me go ahead and select that layer again here. I'm just going to draw right on top of these sketches here. We're going to draw the same lines here. We're going to draw another line through our model's ears right here. And let's draw another one through her torso. Let's draw one through her hips. And we'll draw one through her knees. Now, with that done, let's go ahead and pay attention to sort of the pattern that we've made here. Now, obviously these lines aren't perfectly parallel to one another. If we draw these lines out, they're eventually going to intersect. But not only that, they're also intersecting in sort of this zigzag pattern. If we just kind of complete the lines here, we could follow this and uh, really look at sort of this zigzag pattern that's occurring here. Now, essentially what's happening here is our model, her weight is shifting. Remember, her center of gravity is right here around her hips. So if we were to just draw a vertical line here, uh, right through her abdomen, uh, you can see here that that is sort of the angle of the abdomen. Her hips have, her hips have been shifted uh, to the left here, shifting that center of gravity. Well, what has happened here to her torso? Well, her torso is accommodating for that shift in weight and trying to balance her. Remember, we don't want our model to fall over. In real life, you shift your weight one direction. Uh, if something doesn't accommodate for that weight shift, then you're going to be out of balance and probably fall over. But uh, let's go ahead and draw a line right here, right through the torso. You can see here how the torso accommodates for that shift in weight by the hips. We've actually shifted uh, right here in this direction just a little bit and balanced out that weight shift of the hips. So that sort of ripple effect can be seen also down here around the knees and around the head. Now the more we push these angles, the more dynamic these angles are, the uh, the more dynamic the pose is going to be one, but we're going to even add more sex appeal to our character sketch in this case. So uh, one thing to keep in mind is the further you push these angles, the less realistic that the pose is actually going to be. You're going to border more on something like comic book style, something like that. So uh, keeping that in mind moving forward is really, really important. Now I'm just going to undo back a few times here, get rid of all these lines on top of our uh, pose so we can kind of look at the poses here and see which one is going to work for us going forward. Now um, looking at these poses and evaluating these, I don't feel like the sex appeal is quite high enough here on this center pose. Remember we're wanting to balance the tough and the sexy of this character. She needs to be able to uh, be kind of flirtatious in order to uh, get get her way in, in certain scenarios. So uh, this one just, it's, it's a little too tough and not sexy enough. Uh, this one we have, to me, it feels a little bit timid. Uh, this one right here isn't bad. I think that that's a good option. Uh, let's go ahead and move forward here, take a look at a few more of these other sketches. Uh, let's take it. This one just is too feminine to me. This one right here is, uh, it's a little awkward and I'm not really feeling it. Plus the anatomy I think is a little bit too muscular for this character. This one right here, again, too feminine. Uh, let's come over here and take a look at this last round of sketches here. Uh, this one isn't bad, but I really like the interaction of bringing a weapon in. Remember, if you read our character bio, our model or our character we're designing actually has a handgun that she uh, uses as her preferred weapon. So I'd like to include that in the sketch here. So looking at this one in the middle, uh, I'm feeling that it's not bad, but it's a little bit too feminine. Now this one on the right has a lot of really nice things going on here. I feel like there's a little bit of toughness and a little bit of sex appeal both in this same image. But one thing that I'm not really feeling is the position of her right arm. I think we could probably do something different with that right arm so that it feels more like she's ready for whatever's coming at her. So I've uh, gone ahead and explored that pose one more time here. And uh, again, another really rough sketch. And this time we've angled the arm up. And she's got the gun kind of in the air. She's looking the other direction. Uh, hips thrust, a little bit of sex appeal. I think this pose is really going to work for us. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and pick up where we're leaving off here in the next lesson. And we're going to take a look at some additional character features for this female character, such as her hairstyle.